So if you've been watching TV or the internet in the last few weeks, you will know that Matt Smith is leaving Doctor Who on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, way to ruin Christmas, Moffat. <sighs> if you didn't know, sorry, this is probably not the way you want to find out. The thing I keep hearing is, oh no, we don't want Matt Smith to leave, no, no, or it's either that or, oh my God, bring David Tennant back, bring David Tennant back. Now, all this says to me is that these people do not understand the nature of the show. We'll start with David Tennant, right? David Tennant cannot come back. The Doctor can only regenerate forwards, as far as we know, not backwards. The only way that David Tennant would be able to come back, it would be as the clone Doctor, which obviously he was regenerated from the Doctor's hand, and that's obviously, I'm guessing, how they're doing it in the 50th episode. So, obviously that's the only way he'd be able to come back. But, if he did come back like that, then there would still need to be another actual Doctor, because he's not the actual Doctor, he's the clone Doctor. So that would still leave the space for another person. And people were saying, oh, Matt Smith can't leave, blah, blah, blah. But people said that about Christopher Eccleston. People said that about David Tennant. People are still saying that about David Tennant. And now, of course, they're saying about Matt Smith. And it makes me laugh because everyone was like, oh, no, I don't want David Tennant to leave. I don't like Matt Smith, blah, blah, blah. And now, look, look at you all. You don't want Matt Smith to leave. So it just goes to show this new Doctor, you're going to go, oh, we don't like him because he's not Matt Smith. Three or four episodes down the line, even a series down the line, you're going to be like, oh, I love the new guy. And it's all, the whole process is going to start over and over and over again. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to Doctor. Doctor Who writers know exactly what they're doing, so I have complete faith in them. For now. We shall see. And not only that, right? People say, oh, Matt Smith can't leave, it's not going to be the same without Matt Smith. The whole reason that this show has lasted for 50 years, which is a long time, right? I don't know any other show that is like this, apart from soaps, obviously they don't count that have lasted this long. And the reason that they have lasted this long is because if one person doesn't want to be the Doctor anymore, they can leave and another person can come in and take that place. Yes, they can never replace that person, but that is the only main reason that it has lasted this long because normally when a show ends, it's because the actors don't want to play that character anymore. That doesn't need to happen with this. So both the companions and the Doctor can be so to speak, replaceable. That's just the nature of the show. Matt Smith is not going to be the Doctor forever because he has other roles to play and he's an actor and he wants to broaden his rise. And then of course goes on to who the next Doctor's going to be. And there have been so many speculations and people saying, I want this person, I want this person, I want this person. And the problem I have is I kind of want it to be an unknown person because I think all the people that I've seen suggested are quite big names in terms of TV and film and they're all people that have played big characters such as Ian McKellen, Colin Morgan who plays Merlin, Hugh Laurie who plays House. All these different names that I think, well yeah okay he, they probably would be good as the Doctor but everyone's going to see them as that person. Like, if you play such an iconic character you're going to get known for that. Like David Tennant he will, you know, nine times out of ten be recognised as Doctor Who because that's just the way it is. It's the same with Matt Smith, same with Christopher Eccleston. Tom Baker. So yeah, in that respect, I think it would be better to be an unknown person because I think Chris, I mean, Chris Ferguson has been in things and David Tennant and Matt Smith, they've all been in things, but nothing that really kind of stood out. So when these people came along, it was like, we didn't know who they were, so we didn't know how good they were or anything. And they were amazing. And I think that they should continue that. Somebody said to me the other day, if you had to pick a celebrity that would be a, you know, that would be the new Doctor Who, who would it be? And I thought about it for ages and I was like, actually, even though I'm a little bit biased towards this, I said that I think the perfect Doctor would be Tom Hiddleston and it turns out that Tom from McFly thought the exact same thing which, you know, great minds think alike, I'm just saying. But again, he's, you know, he's low-key so it's kind of like, well, he'd probably be recognised as that. And then of course you've got, you know, the best person for Doctor Who, Shrek. Hello, obviously. Also there was the talk about Doctor Who possibly being a woman. I don't like the idea of Doctor Who being a woman, let me tell you why. Not because it's not because she's a woman, because I mean that's that would be stupid of me to be sexist because I'm a woman and don't get me wrong, I would love to play Doctor Who or something like that. But I don't think it would fit in terms of the character, because I know that the doctor can be anybody or whatever. But you've got to think of like not just the doctor but all the things that surround the doctor, all the relationships and all the storylines and heart wrenching things that have happened that kind of wouldn't have the same effect if it was a Suddenly, if he suddenly turns into a girl. The whole, you know, the relationship with Rose, the banter with Donna, the whole thing with Amy and Rory and all the relationships, especially with Rose, like, it would be weird if, like, suddenly her doctor was suddenly turned up and was like, oh, hey, I'm a girl now. 
And also with River is a big, big thing because like they're ma they're married supposedly, right? And she's always saying, oh, you're not my doctor. And I kind of get the impression that Matt Smith isn't quite her doctor, but is in a way because she's obviously met him before. And they're obviously, you know, as he gets older, he's getting closer and closer with her. So I think the next doctor will be her doctor. I don't think it would work with a woman. As much as I am for gay people, there's nothing against that. I just don't think it would work. Also, if you notice, when David Tennant regenerates into Matt Smith, the first episode where he's first like, he's like, still got legs, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, if you notice, he goes like this. And he's like, because he's got long hair. And he's like, I'm a girl. And he looks slightly disgusted and worried about that. So if he suddenly turned out to be a girl, I think it would kind of screw him up a bit. Like, and he's screwed up enough, bless him. So he doesn't need that. I also think that he should be ginger because apparently they reckon there's only going to be 12 doctors, but I still think that there's going to be some way that there can be more because I don't think it will just end at 12 because I think there would be uproar if Doctor Who just ended. He's always wanted to be ginger and he's never ginger and I think it would just be brilliant. I'm really looking forward to the series, although it does kind of suck that we have to wait till November 23rd. And I also want to find out what's going on with the whole, like, John Hurt thing because that's kind of cool. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens and... On Christmas Day we can all cry because Matt Smith's gone. But they'd be happy because we've got a new Doctor and it'll be amazing. And I have, like I say, I have serious faith that this person's going to be amazing. And I do truly believe that. And I think that anyone who says that they're not going to be amazing is just being pre-judgmental. And that we should all keep an open mind. I think that they know what they're doing and the cast people will pick someone absolutely perfect and we'll all fall in love with them and then when they leave it'll be like oh no this person's leaving I don't want this person to leave and we will all start the regeneration process again goodbye it's bigger on the inside